could you have failed to discover their hiding place? Your Excellency, they attacked and retreated like tigers. But it's a shame one of those tigers didn't have the good taste to claw you to ribbons. Three attacks in less than a month. I'll be the laughing stock of Borneo, but I'll find them if I have to comb the South Seas island by island. Ahoy, gentlemen! <sighs> Looks like they're loading munitions. I wonder if it's meant for us. How do we get a closer look? You'll wear the uniform that we stole in the last raid. The rest of us will go ashore in these barrels. I'm ready for action, Sandokan. This mission's too dangerous for a child. Come on. Out of the barrel with you. You have to stay on board and keep watch with Sam Biglia. I'm getting so rusty, I'm beginning to squeak. Sir, I'll have a look. I believe I'd better warn you, sir. If you open that cask, you'll expose the cognac to the sun. It'll go bad, and the governor will be furious. I just had one of his tongue lashings last week. I don't need another one. Good for you, little brother. The water level's rising. <sighs> so far, so good. Only one more to go. I'm not going to leave you to face this all by yourself. Go! Those thieving bandits have been here. They won't let him!
No, you make for the cove three miles south of here and wait there. What are you going to do? I'm going to wait for Sandokan. When he comes, we'll both join you there at the cove. I'm going to come with you. <clears throat> hey, what's the big idea, Camel Murray? You know you can't be trusted to look after yourself, Janice. How it happened, sir. Thunderheads! They were within your grasp and you let them sir. get away again. Perhaps not all of them managed to escape. We found this beside the river. Well done, Father Inge. This means that he must still be around here somewhere. Mm. Home every corner of the forest. I want him dead or alive. This is terrible. I have to tell Yanis immediately. I was lucky to get away without being seen. Yanis, they found Sandokan's medallion, and now Governor Brooks calling out every available man to form a search party. I've got to find them before they do. Keep an eye on the fortress. Don't you worry, Yanis. I won't let it out of my sight. Not for a minute. Perhaps we should call a doctor. Now, don't you worry, Miss Mary, and he'll be just fine. He has the face of a prince. I've seen lots of princes in my time, and I can tell you they were all fat and ugly. Mm. Yanitz, yeah, Yanitz, yeah, where are you? Sam Biglion, Kamamori, Sea Spider, where are you? I must find you, I must... Shit's all right. We must keep him hidden from the gods. Uncle would be ever so angry. Being angry is his favorite pastime. I wonder what he was talking about in that strange delirium. I think he was calling for his friends. <coughs> where are you, Sandokan? I say, I don't suppose you chaps have heard the topping good news yet. It's quite remarkable, actually. They've captured that frightful bounder, Sandokan. <laughs> I'll just ride off and inform all the other patrols. Oh, I do enjoy being the bearer of good tidings. In the meantime, are there any orders for us, sir? Well, now that the hunt is over, you'd do well to go out fishing. The governor's simply mad about shrimps with his tea, you know. Toodle, chaps. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you're awake, sir. Miss Marianne was quite worried. Then it was Miss Marianne who came to my rescue. Of course it was. Now just stay there and I'll bring you something to eat. Surely Miss Mary Ann doesn't live alone in this palace. Indeed not. The palace belongs to her uncle, Lord Brook. Oh. Is something wrong, sir? Might I have the privilege of saying goodbye to Miss Mary Ann before I leave? Uh... I wish to thank her for her great kindness. <gasps> you play very beautifully. I am very happy to see that you're feeling better, sir, although I do not know your name. Rajid Asanor, the lady. Are you from India? Yes, my ship got caught in the hurricane. Oh, that must have been dreadful. But thank goodness it's all over and done with, and you're safe now. Thanks to you, but now I must... Miss Marianne, there's a message from your uncle. Thank 
you, Nanny. My uncle is pursuing a ferocious bandit named Sandokan, a bloodthirsty monster whose only desire is to slaughter all of us. Why in the world would you think he... Oh, of course, you would never doubt your uncle, would you? Sir! The pursuit party has returned empty-handed, I'm afraid. Did they get as far as Cook's Pass? Yes, sir. And the quarries? Yes, sir. And they've killed the forest inch by inch. It's not easy to catch up. Sir! <laughs> Here are some lovely fresh shrimps for your afternoon tea, sir. Shrimps. <laughs> Damn and blood That's saw it. shrimps and similar crustaceans to eternal perdition. Mm. You're going to swallow every one of those filthy shrimps unpeeled. <laughs> uh, may I ask why you live here and why your parents aren't here? Unfortunately, I lost them both when I was only nine years old. My uncle has looked after me since then. I'm very grateful to him, of course. You must feel very lonely. Oh, it's not always this empty. There are receptions from time to time, so I can meet the right people. Ah, so you know the right people, do you? <laughs> Actually, no. They're boring and stiff and starchy and dreadfully dull. I have the strange feeling that I've known you for years. It's a beautiful night. Why don't we go riding in the park tomorrow? Let's see. If this is the stream and this is the coast. I still don't see what in the world's become of Sandokan. <laughs> a pound to a brass farthing. He'll be looking for him everywhere tonight, even under his own bed. Nobody's thought of looking for him in the governor's palace. My magic Zook will tell us the truth. Ha! Ah. He's in the palace and he's all right, thank God. This has been the happiest day of my life. Thank you. The way you said that made it sound as though you will be leaving soon. Going back to your wife or fiancé, I imagine. Is she a princess or a Maharani? No, she's simply the girl I'm in love with. Oh, well, I'm sure I wish you both every happiness and a long and blissful uh, life together. Miss Marianne, I know you don't understand, but there is something that will forever prevent us from being together. If two people really love each other, I don't see how anything can keep them apart. Hey, wait a minute, you. Stop there. Stop, I said. Oh, Lord Quayla. How dare you assault a friend of mine like that? But Miss Marianne, I thought she was... I was given no chance to present myself. I am Rajid Asanor, uh, sir. Uh, There's something going on behind this wall. <gasps> Who are they, anyway? Who do I have the pleasure of addressing, sir? It's Sandokan! I have the impression that I've seen you before, sir. I shouldn't think so, Lord Guilang. After all, Mr. Asanor just arrived from India. His ship was caught in the hurricane. Will you be staying long, Mr. Asanor? Apropos of which, shouldn't you be out chasing bandits with my uncle? Actually, Miss Marianne, I had just come to a... I think you'd be well advised to return to your duties, sir. <clears throat> if 
you ask me, he's had a whack on the head and doesn't know who he is anymore. I'd say his heart's been hit, not his head. You mean he's in love with that pretty blonde girl? I cannot leave without telling Excuse her the me, truth. Sir. <gasps> Mr. John Farrow is here to see you. He's waiting downstairs in the drawing room. Uh, who? Mr. Farrow, sir. Your partner. He's the most daring and courageous man I've ever known. <laughs> At times too much so, but that's the way he is. What a pleasure it is to see you, John. Thank God you're safe and sound. Uh, what about the rest of the crew members? They're all well. I found a fine ship for sale and we can leave for home at once. I'll have to stay on a bit longer, I'm afraid. It's too risky. A hurricane could arise from one moment to the next. Surely not. Why, there's hardly a cloud in the sky. Very true, but this area is well known for being full of surprises. Uh, where is the new ship anchored? At Bakor Point. I'll join you there as soon as I possibly can. What's your conclusion, then? He must have drowned in his attempt to escape, Your Excellency. There seems to be no other solution. Wouldn't we have found his body? Not necessarily, Your Excellency. After all, the storm the other night was so violent it even sank a ship. As far as I can tell, the only thing that's gone to the bottom here in Labuan is your brain, uh, you idiot! Well, the gentleman visiting your niece said his ship went down in the hurricane. There's a stranger in the palace with my niece. Mm. So that's where the rascal's been hiding. You fool, that man is Sandokan. I think you stayed behind because you wanted to tell me something. Am I right? Mm. I've kept this with me for a long time, hoping against hope to see you. But how can this be? I carried your unconscious body off that burning ship and made sure you came to no harm. So it was you who saved me. And I've been in love with you ever since that day. Do you mean it, Rashid? My name is not Rashid, Marianne. <gasps> I am the son of the Maharaja of Kiltar. I am Sandokan. But an evil and rapacious man murdered my family, stole my kingdom, and made you and I enemies. You mean my uncle? Arrest that man! <gasps> Listen to your heart, Marianne. It will tell you the truth. Get that rogue out of my sight. Who knows what lies he told you to gain the protection of the palace. What will happen to him now? Very simple, my dear. I'll have him confined in a cell in the dungeons overnight and put to death first thing in the morning. Oh, no! He seemed such a well-mannered gentleman. You're absolutely right, Nanny. That's exactly what he is. He's anything but that fierce bandit they make out. But, Miss Marianne, your uncle... I'll listen not to Governor Brooke, but to my heart. Nanny, I want some of that sleeping potion you used to give me. Do you think the shackles are tight enough? Ah, you'll never get loose now. Why trumps? I hope you put enough in, Nanny. Now go. Gentlemen. I brought some wine for you. Thanks, Bob. I hope Uncle doesn't suspect anything. You do love me. Oh, of course I do. Get out of there quickly. I hear someone coming. <gasps> On the devil now! <gasps> Mary, give me the torch, quick! Stop or we shoot! Fire! Miss Marianne! 
If I'm not mistaken, this belongs to me, Governor. And one day, I'll come back and claim everything else you stole from me. I'm back here! Before they catch One day you. I'll return for you. Wait for me. 